everybody, this is jbizzler 49 and welcome to my first video of 2012. Let's start the new year on the right foot with some Kirby's Return to Dreamland, my first new playthrough of 2012. Oh, spoilerific over there on file one. Pretend you didn't see that. So we'll just go with main mode here and let's do this thing. Cutscenes. So here we have Planet Popstar. There is, uh... There's Kirby there with his, his favorite treat, which I believe is, uh... Strawberry Shortcake. Oh, man! I love how Kirby looks back at the thing, but then realizes this is more important. Oh dear. This thing looks like it's in turmoil. Why, it pretty much just lost everything except for the hull. So it invariably is going to crash, of course. Hmm. Kirby's like, what the fuck? Let's walk into the spaceship that we know nothing about. Uh-oh. Something seems definitely wrong here. Okay, he's okay. But the ship is clearly not. It's losing... It's lost its MacGuffins and most of its parts. He seems to be in despair. Kirby's like, hey, we'll help you because we're cool like that. Yes, even Mennonite. With like his arms crossed. Dude, I'd say, dude, if you're if you're that cold, wear like a coat or something, but he kind of is with that cape. So we're off on our little adventure. Surely what we are doing is the right thing. We think. So, this here is Planet Popstar. As expected, it's divided up into five little sections. Uh, first World Cookie Country. Uh, all the levels in this game are, uh, are some kind of uh, food theme, which I actually think is pretty cool. Okay, let's start level one, stage one. That's a good place to start. Ah, uh, yes, uh, this has multiplayer and such. It's actually a lot easier for you for uh, other people to join in because they can join in and drop out mid-level, which is kind of cool. You wouldn't think it would take this long for the, the people over at Nintendo and its various studios to figure out that that's a good way to do multiplayer, but, huh. Okay, so we have our sword ability. Yes, we are Link Kirby. Because Link Kirby is awesome. Okay, if you double tap the direction, you run. This is pretty much, hello, I am a typical first world. Here's a tutorial on all the basic controls in this game. You don't really get a tutorial on the uh, copy abilities unless you pause and then go across the screens and such. Where it will list every single move that you have with the current power that you are equipped with. Uh, what's up here? Red star. Ah, yes. Uh, the stars, if you don't know Kirby all that well, the stars pretty much act like the coins. Uh, in this game... A hundred will give you an extra life. Oops. Wow, already my first hit. Jesus Christ. That's pathetic. 
Guess it had to happen in freaking stage one. Okay, this is real simple right here. Take the key. Oh, also notice... Uh, as far to my knowledge, you have infinite flight in this game, unless you're holding an object, in which you can only jump, you can't take flight. So, if you're, uh, carrying objects around, just bear that in mind. And in here is probably, is the easiest energy sphere in the game, which, if I call them MacGuffins, don't hold it against me, because I'm used to calling them MacGuffins. That's just my thing, apparently. Uh, Prometheus MFD would know this because he was he was over here and I was showing him this game. And I every energy sphere I came across, I called it a MacGuffin. So so yeah. Uh, I don't know if I should be spoiling this or not, but uh, this is video number nine hundred and thirty-five. I have- I already have video number 1,000 recorded. Eh, Red Star. Don't really need that. I already have video number 1,000 recorded. Uh... Uh, I can say that it was, uh... Featuring Prometheus MFD, and that's all I'm gonna say on the subject. At, at the very least, until that date. Uh, the date where I actually release the 1,000th video nears. Okay, certain levels have, uh, enemies that garner super abilities. It can pretty much wreck anybody's shit. Here is the Ultra Sword ability, which... just cuts through absolutely everything. And there's actually, there's, there's variations on what the Ultra Sword can be. Like, there's the sword itself. You saw, like, one of those wooden swords. Ugh. Prometheus named it when he was over here, but... I already forgot what it was, even though that was like three days ago. Me Cleaver. That's probably the most one of the most hilarious ones. There is another pretty hilarious one. Okay, there's Meta Knight's sword. Let's see if I can get it to pop up. Oh, there's a Cutlass. There's the Meat Cleaver again. One of them is... Yeah, whatever. I might see it later on, because this is not the only level that has the super ability. Anyway, any levels that have a super ability have a place in them where there's this vortex, where it takes you to, I guess this is the negative zone of the world you are currently in. And there's an advancing wall of doom. I have never actually encountered this wall, so I don't know what it does if it comes into contact with you. If it hurts you or if it instant kills you, I honestly do not know. But it is an advancing wall of doom, so your best strategy is to run away from it. Uh, you can also fire projectiles at it to push it back, which will become an integral part of your strategy uh, when you're doing certain things later on. Okay, now it's giving us a choice between fire and sword. Being a man, we stick with the sword. Although, fire fire ability is pretty cool in this game. Let's you dash around and such. But a choice between those two? Gotta go with Link Kirby. Okay, so this guy, Sphere Doomer, let's talk about this guy. If you're gonna go for 100%, you're gonna fight this with uh, this guy and variations on this guy a hell of a lot. So get used to him. This is just a normal sphere doomer. They're going to start having elemental powers soon. But that doesn't matter because we just beat him handily. And these sphere doomers will always hand out two energy spheres. So. Any level with a super ability in it, the last two energy spheres will be that Sphere Doomer fight. So essentially, you have to use the super ability to find an area where the portal to the, to the other dimension is. So that you can, you can outrun the advancing wall of doom and try to make your way to a thing. Anyway, here's the goal game. If you press 2 at a certain time... 
you go higher up in the clouds. The higher up you go in the clouds, the bigger reward you get. Uh, I believe there's seven different levels. Landing on the seventh one nets nothing. And then six through one nets anywhere between one and 30 stars. Uh, if you have... If you're doing multiplayer for this game, uh, I believe... Uh, landing on the... Uh, it's essentially split screen. And... Landing on the same sp on the same level nets a team bonus, and if everybody lands on the top level, it's an extra life per player, and each player gets full life. Which I haven't mentioned. You don't actually recover all of your health at the end of the level unless it's that level's boss. So I guess that that's the main reason why that Maxim Tomato is placed at the at the end of the sphere doomer fight it always does that by the way just just so you know I want my I want my sword back god damn it get back here thank you all right so yeah, I'm taking hits like a maniac here but there's there's food all about the place, so it's really of no consequence. Now this is if this kind of teases you, it's like, eh, this level might look fun, but we're just gonna skip past that. Whoosh. Over here is a secret if you want some more stars. And we've got Cutter, which essentially is the same as a sword, except you can... It's like a boomerang, so I'm gonna stick with the sword. So essentially because it gets the job done just as well. Jeez. Okay. Uh, those guys and similar enemies give you leaf power-up, but I... Uh, honestly, I don't like the leaf power-up in this game. As as I've progressed through the game, I've found myself using it less and less. Let's kill that guy for no reason. For no reason. That's a lot. A lot of the reason why I, why I do stuff is just for no reason. Anyway, these blue stars are worth thirty stars. So if you want fast tracks to extra lives, picking those up might be key for you. Stars hidden in here. And then here's another one of the items, the this cannon thing. This just wrecks everybody's shit. Those solid gray blocks can only be destroyed with... Uh, this is with cer with uh, certain items and certain strong abilities. I'll go over them as they come up. Here's the first MacGuffin. Uh, I can still use this, actually. I can actually take it into the next room. Uh, I don't want Needle Kirby. Which, actually, they... Uh, essentially, in this game, they combine... Uh, uh, needle and wheel Kirby into one because it's it's dashing move is essentially wheel Kirby okay that's oh sneaky bastards try to pull a fast one on me huh didn't work Okay. Usually when you see multiple powers like this, it means you're about to go up against a mini-boss. Uh, I think I'm actually going to switch to the, uh, beam. Just because. Just because it's a projectile, and I like using projectiles against these guys. I usually like just spamming the charge, uh, beam shot if I get the opportunity. Whoa, look out. That's the, that's the attack I expected him to do. 
fire that at him. We're actually going to need the sword. So, usually with mini-bosses, if you take their power, it will help you get something, like, immediately. Usually, it's the next MacGuffin. Doesn't matter because we're at the end of the stage. I didn't really explain it all that well last time, but... You have to press the 2 button with a certain timing in order to get to the top. Like when, uh, like when, uh, uh, like when the thing is at its most depressed, I guess. Anyways, uh, I've done two stages, uh, so I think I'm gonna wrap this video up here. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and uh, I'll see you in part two. This is gonna get fun.